This is Twit. M2, tell us the specs of the uh, Mac Pro that you got. Okay, I got a 128 uh, gig memory, uh, and I uh, I got it with two terabytes of uh, of uh, SSD, and uh, that pretty well. That's that's <laughs> those are your the choices. choices. You get. I'm gonna think you right. didn't. Did you get the 76 core GPU for a thousand dollars more, or did you settle for 60 cores? I I settled for 60. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you what because, do you do? Are you doing color uh, with the, with this thing or or what? Oh yes, I'm doing uh, a, a Photoshop, uh, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, okay. uh, you know, all the bits the and pieces, and yeah. there's a number of other. Yeah. So I'm just spec'd it out in the U.S. You're you're in Canada, but in the U.S. Uh, that would be eight thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars. It does include right. a mouse, but does not include wheels. Did you buy the wheels? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I did. I did not buy the wheels. <laughs> okay, so I will not add the four hundred dollar wheels. It, uh, it, it it is a static Mac Pro. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits there. It don't roll nowhere. I have to say the design is nice. Is this identical to the old Mac Pro case? The case is virtually identical. From the outside, you can't tell the difference. Okay. From the inside? Ah, from the inside. Let's, well, let's start. Now, I'm doing the transition from the 2019 Mac Pro, which is Intel-based, to the 2023, which, of course, is Apple Silicon-based. And so let's first have a peek inside my oh, look at that. 2019 Mac Pro. Okay. And starting down at the bottom is the power supply. And then the next thing up is I had an internal, uh, against Alex's uh, advice, <laughs> I have a 32-terabyte uh, RAID array from Promise. And then the next thing up is I have the uh, double GP, dual GPU card, the Radeon Pro uh, Vega 2 Duo. And then the next thing up is the Afterburner card, which is the ProRes decoder. And then uh, there's a blank slot shown in this picture, but there was a uh, Blackmagic 4K Decklink Extreme 12G uh, video I.O. card. And that's my uh, that that's my universal video in and out. It'll do SDI, HDMI component, composite, you name it. And uh, so that is what we started with i i do want to and I won before you go to the next one i do remember you had prom problems with the promise card initially right in fact they did the yes, ray maxwell I did. fix I, well, I i'm very proud of the fact that when the 2019 mac pro came out there were two system software updates immediately after it was released Due to my discoveries. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> you you broke right. it first, is what you're saying. Yeah. I you, yes. I, you, I broke you found, it you first. Found, you found the rake in the tall grass. You stepped on that, and <laughs> your broken nose saved everybody else's. <laughs> right and, smack and I will in say, my <laughs> face, you know? And, like, anyway, it... Uh, hold on I a second. Alex, you, you wanted to... In, I was going to say, you know, there were two updates, so that, that rake hit him twice. So anyway, but the... Um, <laughs> but, 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 Ow. But I think that Ray Ray shows like what the the target Mac Pro user you, you can see that you know using up all that card space and putting those in. I all mean, that that's space. the difference between the yeah. studio and the and the and yeah. the and the, stu and the Mac Pro. Let's see the new one, Ray. All right, just a moment here. So remember, re oh, what? it's a lot more open in there. Oh yeah. Now this is this is the way it came. Ah, this okay. is not with my cards You're in it. Stick yet. stuff in there. Yeah. All right. Now my plan, my plan was to put the uh, Raid Array in here, and uh, to put my uh, Blackmagic video card in here, and then there's a third card that I was going to buy. I'll tell you about that later. That I wanted to put in here, but as I looked at this very picture. Before my new 2023 Mac Pro arrived, I said, uh-oh, this isn't going to work. So I discovered my first problem <laughs> before the thing even 
ended up on my front porch. And <laughs> the first problem is if you if you look at the 2019, it has what are called MPX slots, which are PCI slots with an additional power connector uh, yeah. uh, to, to the left of in this picture. Now, by the way, notice how the motherboard of this new Mac Pro Pretty clean, has man. practically nothing, nothing on, on it. it. <laughs> yeah, that's really remarkable. Everything is in that in that uh, system on a chip, you know, wow. up under the little metal thing. Yeah. So at any rate, but when I looked at this picture, I said, you know what? My 32 terabyte Promise Pegasus is not going to work uh -oh. because there's no place for the power connector. And so I immediately called Apple and Promise and said, hey, uh, and by the way, if you look at the Apple site, the U.S. site, you will see that they still offer the 32 terabyte Promise Pegasus. Mm. And it says, will work in current Mac Pro. Mm. Not true. Mm. Not true true because it doesn't have the new mac pro does not have mpx slots they're straight pci now they are what is it called class four or you know the latest uh where the uh 2019 was class three anyway so i called them and i said is this going to work and at first they both said oh yeah it just needs a pci connector and i said come on guys look at the picture uh, it's <laughs> mpx <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, this isn't going to work. And, uh, no, that's the J2. This is not, this is the, not four, the one. Four, yeah. No, the 4i. Four, four okay. Because uh, okay. I, I want to see the listing the that says it's going to work because that's, you know. Yeah. There it is. It's, but this, this page is jumping all over on me here. Hold on. I'll scroll down to that. Yes. Uh, no, not there not yet. Not there either. Maybe they took it off. You're on huh? the U.S. site. There it is. There, there or, it is. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Get 32 that. terabytes. It's sold yeah. out. And <laughs> That's the now, good news. Now, sl slide down to highlights. Yeah. Whoa. Stop right there yeah. and see current version. Yeah. Yeah. Current generation. No. That's a lie. Okay. Won't work. Now, I talked to Promise and Apple again the second time, and they said, oh, you know what? You're right. <laughs> it won't work. Oh, my goodness. And, and Promise said, uh, but we have good news. You have a bunch of R4 Raid arrays, don't you? And I said, yes. And uh, So by said, now well, they know you, can... you pretty well. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. Sure, Ray. 2019. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so the, they said, uh, you realize you can take those eight terabyte hard drives that are in your RAID array and you can move them over to an R4 a chassis and they'll work just fine. And by the way, they did. The only thing you have to do is you must install the new Promise Pegasus uh, uh, utility and upgrade firmware and software. Okay. So you had then to open up, can, open up the, the, the case and take the, uh, the four drives out of there. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. That, that involved a screwdriver and so forth, removing the hard drives, putting them in the holders for the R4 chassis, and they work just fine. Okay. Okay. That's the good news. Do you lose any uh, uh, capability because you're doing that? No, they okay. run just, they, they Good. run it. They keep in mind they're, <laughs> they, they go back a while. So they only run at 600 megabytes a second. Okay. 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 But they still run at that. So same this is speed. your, this is your online slow storage. This is not your uh, high speed. That's right. Yeah, the two terabytes now, the are probably S pretty darn fast. Yeah, the SSD is 6,000 megabytes yeah, per second. 10 times faster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But now this brings us to the third card I want to install in this machine and that is a card by OWC which is the 8M2 and this card fasten your seatbelt when it works properly it can go at 26,000 megabytes per second hmm. and you can get it up to 64 terabytes I think I'm going to get the 16 terabytes this is the Excel Excelsior that you're talking about that's it yeah wow that's the card there's only there's a problem though. 
Notice right under the title, Directions for 2023 <laughs> Mac Studio and Mac Pro Compatibility, yeah, yeah, which is known as, whoops, it won't work just yet, folks. Oh, man. So, so I'm now <laughs> waiting for the next system software, Apple. Apple knows about this, and Promise and Apple are working together. There's going to be another Ray Maxwell fix. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you got Found it. Found that rake. It's, it's me. You know, hello, Apple. It's me again. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank God somebody's doing this, right? And I'm sure there will be others follow in following in your footsteps, but... Good for you for doing this. So, but, but can you imagine having that card as your scratch disk for your video eight work? Terabytes. <laughs> wow. You're gonna get the eight. Well, eight, I, eight. I'm gonna get the sixteen. Oh, why? But yes. You can go up to, sure. You why can, stop? You can go. <laughs> yeah, you can go to sixty-four, but okay. that's ten thousand uh, dollars. So, you're getting, so. You're, you, you got you've got the Mac with the police the police pursuit package. That's like, <laughs> you know, the suspension, the <laughs> the bully bar, the. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, uh, uh, the OWC is probably using somebody else's, uh, SSDs in here, I would guess. Right. I don't know what they use. Uh, yeah, have a look there. But it's but really they, fast. Uh, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. The, the, the problem is if you use their, uh, soft SSD software, soft raid, yeah. uh, and you install this in a, uh, Mac pro right now, the thing won't boot. <laughs> That's too bad. So, yeah, I'm using a. You down. I have their uh, little, their little uh, uh, M2 box, and I have to use Soft Raid with it. I'm not a fan of Soft Raid, but I guess it's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. using that on my Mac well, Studio. You, That's an external. The, if you want the 26 gigabyte transfer rate, yeah. you have to use theirs. You, by the way, the workaround right now is you can buy this, plug it in, and use uh, Apple Raid. Uh, in the you know the disk utility and set it up, but you'll only get thirteen thousand. And by the way, you have to set it up on another Mac. You can't set it up on the Mac Pro, and then you have to plug it in after you set it up and uh, striped it with uh, the Apple RAID software. Okay. So, what do you do with all this storage, Ray? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> video, much, what's the video, total video. now? I've I've lost count. I can't add that high. Yeah, well, if you if you have cameras that shoot ProRes, you're doing a lot uh, of drone raw. stuff, aren't you? Yeah, I'm doing some drone, and uh, you, you know, <laughs> the thing I I shoot with the most now is my my iPhone 14 Pro. Really? <laughs> if, you had the yeah. Hasselblad. You don't shoot with your Hasselblad. <laughs> you shoot with your iPhone 14 Pro. Well, it's 48, 48 <laughs> megapixels. It is. It's medium on, format. Leo. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's hysterical. Do you find the quality is almost as good? Well, you know, you can go in and pixel peep and, you know, decide that it isn't quite the same. I have the, I have the Canon uh, 5D Mark IV as yeah. well. Yeah, that's a nice and, Canon. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I have still have the, the Hasselblad is now a museum piece. Isn't that funny? <laughs> But you took such great images with that. I, I just and the the uh, the uh, depth of focus you were able to achieve. What were you doing? I forgot. There was something clever. You were doing. Well, the the big thing was a dynamic range in those days. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I had that. Uh, oh, I can't bring it up quickly, but I had that picture. I out remember the, window the table where you could yeah, see. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see the interior, and you could see white clouds, and it had detail in both Amazing. ends of the uh, yeah. dynamic range. Yeah. But nowadays, almost all the cameras can do Isn't that. that. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. So uh, tell exactly. us more. Well, give us your uh, thumbnail review of the Mac Pro. Well, the, the bottom line is, if you need I/O slots and I.O. cards <laughs> you that do. you want to add to this, <laughs> yes. then you want the Mac Pro. Otherwise, if you don't need that, by all means, get the studio. They're, they're exactly, you it's know, same, same horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> do you run the deck link in there as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. You're, you're seeing me through the deck link at this very That's moment. That's how you control those mon all those different monitors. Yeah. I, ha I have the Blackmagic uh, 6K Pro. Uh, that's what Ooh. you're seeing me. He's in... Now, Alex, he's in 6K, Alex. That's got to be, those are fighting words. <laughs> well, I've got 7K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and we're you know, squishing it, it down to 720p, by the way. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, it's it's uh, the 1080p is still still the the the, um, the big player at the moment. We but a lot of us are working at 4K or 8K. Um, the the 12K has I I found as be a little excessive. You know, yeah. like it's I haven't haven't found yeah. a lot of use for the 12K. Well, if you, uh, that's uh, the footage. thing. When you go to 12K, now you need a Mac Pro with 3,000 terabytes of storage and a TechLink card and all <laughs> yeah, that it, stuff. Yeah. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. The training industry's completion rate is barely 30%. ACI Learning blows its competitors away with an over 80% completion rate. Don't settle for subpar boring training. This is what IT pros want. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. 